But tonight, family and friends are wondering what happened to Leela and Tony Lewis. Wednesday night, the couple died in their own home after a massive fire. We're told multiple gunshots rang out before the fire. Investigators aren't ruling out anything in this case and treating it as a homicide. The community came together tonight to honor them with a candlelight vigil. NBC 15's Laura Barcheski was there tonight. Laura, family members are heartbroken, saying the Lewises were the rock of the family. Rachel, family and friends say Leela and Tony Lewis will be deeply missed, and they want justice and answers. I know Jesus, Jesus be with oh, at the wild. Friends and family of Leela and Fihead Tony Lewis are mourning tonight after the couple was found dead after their home burned down on Dr. Thomas Avenue just days ago. Even though this happened the way it happened, it warms my heart that they was together. The Lewises were dedicated members of Pine Grove AME Church. Good hearted, gold hearted people like some of the coolest, most welcoming people you could ever meet. Sweet, 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 sweet people. And they were an essential, irreplaceable part of the Happy Hill community. Two people who were so instrumental in holding this community together. For them to be gone in this way, uh, we pray that uh, whoever did this, that justice will catch up with them and justice will prevail. Leela and Tony's great niece says she's going to honor them every day by showing love to others just like they did. That's all I can say is for them. Everything from February 17th to when I die is for them. Just as the Lewises were there for the community, the community is there for their family. But God, right now, we want you to lift up this family. <laughs> yeah. Give them the peace and the courage that they need. Yes, Lord. Even after the candles burn out, their love continues to shine. We just appreciate all the love. We appreciate everyone because at this time we don't got but each other to lean up on. And we're going to be there for each other. There is a GoFundMe set up for the Lewis family, and we'll post that link on our website, mynbc15.com. Rachel.